and we're back with another analog horror game. Today, we're playing the Lancaster League, O'Brien State Park. This is the first episode of three in total, I believe. This first episode is all about going through the true events that happened in O'Brien State Park in the 1980s. It's not gonna go well for me. It's just, it's, it's just not, okay? And just a warning before you get into this, there are flashing lights, so if you're sensitive to that, just be mindful or go away so that you don't die. <laughs> the following tape and many others were recovered by FBI intern Valerie Bardot when given to us. Who's us? Who are we? Who are we? That is Valerie. Leaving without a trace, she suddenly went missing at the end of her internship in Lancaster. Foul players suspected. Okay. Oh, that's good. So long as Valerie is missing, these tapes will continue to be leaked. We gave you a chance and this will be your last. The information conveyed through this debrief slash training tape pertains to a prior investigation. It is imperative that agents refrain from viewing this material unless they possess the appropriate clearance and are under the direct supervision of an instructor. Any failure to comply with this directive will result in prosecution to the fullest extent possible on the night in the blah, 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 under the Espionage Act of 1917. You have been warned. Yeah. Tape purpose debrief. Oh my god, 25th of August, 1988. Clearance. Tussur. Missing persons, entity present? As in present in the tape? Previously inhabited by both Dakota and Ojib Ojibwe tribes? It, it is now home to the year-round camper and hikers. Uh, the park, along with other state parks up north, has experienced an increase in animal-like attacks. The, this... Blah, 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 blah. The cause was... Oh, I didn't read that. <laughs> Subject, Brady Kaufman. Uh, August 25th. Bradley Kaufman, a 59-year-old male, visited O'Brien State Park unaccompanied. The subject's behavior during his visit was unusual, as he intermittently started recording at various times. Subsequently, on August 26th, the subject was reported as missing. His body was discovered on August 30th, and the recovered footage from his recording device will now be presented in chronological order, accompanied by annotations. Beautiful. I would prefer you give me more time to read these. <laughs> Oh my dear god, that is very, very pixely. Oh wow. 10 p.m. The subject initiated recording. The reason is unknown. I didn't read the rest of it. Subject would occasionally zoom. Ooh. Zoom on certain objects. I'm zooming. Okay, what am I zooming in on? I'm zooming on everything. I'm zooming on this fire. Yeah. Got a nice hatchet to smack somebody around the, around the gabber with. Getting gabbered. Are we just... Just taken off? Subject turned right and went to the bathroom to shower. <laughs> oh, it's getting saucy already. Let's go for a wonderful shower. Where nothing bad could possibly happen. Is this the bathroom? Are you a bathroom? You're a car. Uh, okay, apparently I can't... I can't go to see them. Okay, well, let's just keep going then. Ha 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 ha! Oh, my poor heart. <laughs> uh, why can't a man just go and shower? Why are you gonna do me like that? Are you a bathroom? I don't know. Let's read this. Alright, I'm glad that's nice and clear. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna guess this is... This is where I need to go. I saw that frame drop. Saw it. Oh my dear golly gosh. Okay. Uh, ooh, steamy. Why are you taking your camera in here, you freak? I, uh, this one? Paul's one. The subject stops filming, then takes a shower. It is estimated 10 minutes elapsed before the subject films again. The subject returns to the campsite. Oh, I gotta go all the way back now. Man. I've been closing that door. That was one heck of a draft. Hey. Hey, are you pooping? Let me see. <laughs> what do we got going on out here, huh? It's 
spooky stuff. Turn right. I think. As long as nobody honks the horn at me again, I'll be fine. Oh, oh, we can crouch. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Are we gonna be hiding from something? I hope not. I can only assume that this gentleman dies the most horrible death. His kidney is gonna get pulled out of his nostril. That's the way I'd want to go. I'm just having the most excellent time walking through these woods. I'd like a Star Wars droid, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Ooh, I could be a bird. Be a, I could be a bird at night time. I think we're nearly back. What a great time we've had so far. And he's... No? No? Have I... Okay. <laughs> Maybe, is this it? Did I... I think I just walked past it. Yeah! Now climb in the fire. <laughs> uh, pause 2. Unknown suspect? Upon return to the campsite, an unknown figure stands near the subject's tent. I didn't even see that. Neither campground records nor witnesses recall seeing a white male of this profile. Why this person was here or who they are still remains unknown, but is not being actively pursued. I didn't even notice them. I was trying to jump in the fire. The largest jump of times happened at this point, with an estimated with an estimate of one to two hours time elapsed. The recording resumes with the subject's two miles in the Hardwood Hills loop. Why the subject started this hike is not relevant to the Bureau's involvement. I mean, I, I would say it's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty relevant. Am I just going into the woods? No? Okay, I'm walking down the path. I need that. <clears throat> ah, how pretty. Look at that moon. Moon! Made of cheese. Wouldn't it be funny if this guy didn't die by any kind of, like, weird entity. He just got kicked by a moose. <laughs> Taking the shoelace express. Cow? Moo! Haunted cow? Spooky, scary cow? We're gonna be fine. Nothing, nothing could go wrong by hiking in the woods in the middle of the night. <gasps> Wildlife. <laughs> Nothing scary's even happened yet. I've just been scared by everyday items and creatures. <laughs> like all these fireflies around. They make me feel safe. Oh, and of course, now there's no fireflies and there's weird noises. Can I have the fireflies back? Pretty please? I'm hearing some kind of voice. Please don't eat me. I'm not very tasty. I just look at... Oh, I hear water. Can we buy a stream? Oh boy. How exciting. Let's cross, cross this bridge of joy. Oh. That's going That's gonna break on me. Is that a deer? Are you okay? I don't know how to speak deer. It's just screaming, so no doubt you'll hear me speak deer shortly. Let's go over to the mutilated deer. About to see its head on just a random tree. Can't wait. It's gonna be great. Are we good over here? Having such a fun time. What is... Uh, no! No! The deceased deer was killed by entity. Oh, no. <gasps> subject encountered deceased deer attacked by entity. The film abruptly ends after subject detects entity in vicinity. Oh, no. Oh, he's gonna punch me in the face. Subject exhibits distress and flees off trail. Entity perceives subject and can be heard in proximity. Subject resumes filming approximately four minutes after pause. This marks the final pause. Oh no! Oh no, we're gonna see the entity in the face. The subject is audible for the first time displaying emotions of fear. Yeah, I don't blame him. The subject begins running as multiple sounds of entity surround him! 
I don't know why I'm running. I don't want to hit an invisible wall and get mauled to death. Oh! I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Run for the tree line. Ooh! We're fine. We're fine. I see. I see openness. I just have to reach the open. Whoa! Why are there so many? Run! Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh, stupid invisible walls! Why? Oh, I hear something. It's stepping really loud. <laughs> the subject struggles against entity but gets away. The camera is severely damaged. The subject drops flashlight and then camera it creates a shadow backdrop. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god, it punched me in the face. I knew it! Bradley Kaufman's death would occur over the next five minutes. The remaining footage has been cut short for viewer discretion. Additional entities can be heard and would later fight over the remains. The footage ends when the camera battery runs out. Well, that's good. Subject remains were found scattered. Most flesh was consumed. Little personal items remained intact. The public was told it was an abnormal bear attack. Huh. Tibia found 0.5 miles away. <laughs> Oh no, the subject's film was the first footage captured of S-0012. Ultimately, the subject's footage provided the Bureau proof to extend funding and special operations to contain entities. This case marks the first of many successful entity resolution programs. Wendigo, risk severe containability 3. Well, that's fun. Uh, Wendigos are creatures originated from Native American tribes of the Great Lakes region. The malevolent and supernatural beings bring terror to forest dwellers and are linked to numerous missing persons cases. Tall and emaciated looking Wendigos bear antlers and possess an insatiable hunger for something or other. According to recent intelligence, there has been a noticeable resurgence of the Wendigo, and a geographical distribution has now expanded southward toward Minneapolis. In response to this emerging threat, the Bureau has established a joint task force in collaboration with the Canadian CSIS to take immediate and decisive action to halt the expansion of the species. And at every the last three words, it is imperative to maintain strict operational security and keep the general public uninformed of these operations to prevent any unnecessary panic or interference. Well, too late for that, because I've got him! Oh my god, I never want to run into a Wendigo. I don't know about you, they don't seem very friendly. But I think you should watch this video here. I play another analog horror game and it's very spooky and scary. We're going to be playing episode 2 at some point. <laughs> Keep an eye out for that. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all. I'm going to go now. Goodbye! <laughs>